still spewing gas. The threat from Total's Elgin platform in the North Sea, it's entered its fourth day. Now, shares in France's largest oil producer are down for a second day as the company weighs up its options to bring the damaged well under control. And the cost of insuring the company's debt, that's jumped. Now, meanwhile, a UK union has called for more workers to be evacuated from nearby platforms because of the risk of a blast. Total is playing down that danger. The company's Algen rig is situated in the North Sea, about 240 kilometres from Aberdeen. Well, let's get a reaction from our reporter on this story, Ben Ferry. Uh, ben. Afternoon. Afternoon. Total haven't been very forthcoming with a lot of details, but at this stage, how serious is this leak? Well, it's certainly a serious problem for Total. They just don't seem to know quite how to get it under control. Um, probably more serious is the fact that there is a flare burning on one of the platforms. And uh, with, uh, with a gas leak and with condensate leaking from the platform, if the wind were to change direction, that could be a serious explosion. So it, 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 there are certain risks even, even still at this stage. But what's their plan? What have they told us so far they're going to do to, to end the crisis? Well, it seems like they've got two main options. The first one is simply to do almost nothing at all, just to try and... What, let, let it burn off? Exactly, let, let the, the leak exhaust itself. They think it's coming from a point higher than the main reservoir, then there might not be that much gas in there. So one option is just to leave it, leave it be. The second option is the really expensive one. That is to drill a, a relief well in, in much the same way as BP did with uh, the Macondo well in, in the Gulf of Mexico. But that could take up to, what, six, six I mean, months? I mean, it took uh, BP six months. Exactly. What, is it the same? I mean, you're working in, obviously, different waters in the North Sea. Is it still well, the same? Well, it's much kind of shallower, and, okay. and they're saying that this gas pocket uh, that they, they think the leak is coming from is much higher up uh, in the reservoir than the actual main reservoir, which they say is still plugged. But it, it's still going to be a costly exercise, and it, it won't, be, won't be quick. What's the environmental impact of, of this, Ben? Well, it's not comparable to, to the spill in the Gulf of Mexico, that's for certain. Um, it's a very light, con uh, condensate is very light oil. It should evaporate over time, and of course, the gas is going straight into the atmosphere. So it can't be compared in that way, and certainly the government isn't really concerned about it at all. And any other sort of major impacts, any other players in that area that might have an impact, you think? Well, we think, we estimate our calculations are, are that uh, uh, Total and its partners in, in the field, ENI for one and uh, BG, collectively they may be losing about $10 uh, million a day, and that's including condensate sales, that's the light oil, and also natural gas sales in the UK. Okay, well, we'll see how this plays out, uh, Ben. Thanks for your time.